Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you the iPhone 11 I just got. It's the baseline model, it's not the XR. So, let me explain the reason I got it. The reason I got it is because my iPhone 10 had problems, which I'll show later in this video. So, the start off is, I got the red, the red one. Um, I wanted a blue one, but unfortunately, um, the blue one was the XR, and that's the most, that's the really expensive one, and unfortunately, I don't want to spend a lot of money on the phone. Um, I get, I buy what's usable to me. So, to get started, if you open up the box here, you get this this little thing right here. So the first one is obviously you bought a red one. The second one is the instruction manual. The third one here, this is interesting. This is the key for your SIM card to get the SIM card out. Number four is obviously some warning things, not what to do with the phone. And number five, you get stickers. So, I'll put this all back here. That SIM card key, the iPhone 10, did not come with it. Because what happens is, is it's very, very difficult to get in there, and the SIM card itself keeps your phone number. So, if we look at the bottom of the box here, you get... AirPods, you do get these with the iPhone 10, and yes, they will work on the 11. And then you get uh, the US, the uh, charger, which uses the normal USB A end. If I open this, remove this, you get another lightning cable, and yes, the iPhone 10 lightning cable will work. So, what's cool about this is the Apple is red matches this. Now, the one, the phone I was referring to was the iPhone XR. That is a really expensive one. That's the one that has the third camera on it. The third, this, ha this particular model has two, as you can see, and the XR has three. Now, here's the problem with that. When I buy something, such as a phone, right, and let's say the baseline model does everything except one certain thing. It's not worth the money to spend it to do one extra thing. You wait until the next gen comes out and the baseline model has it, if you can. So, this is the back of the phone. I have it in a clear case. As you can see, it has two cameras on this one and the flash. Now, on the XR, the third camera would be right here. And as you can see, this cover is made for both this one and the XR. I got this from Sprint. And on the front here, what you just saw was the camera. If you put a camera on here for infrared, That's infrared. Your front camera on the iPhone here is infrared. If you do that with the TV remote, you'll get the same effect. So, so I entered my password, and it's literally almost all the same. This is a 64 gig one. I have the dates and stuff like that. So let me show you what happened to my iPhone 10. Right here, I'll take it out of the case here, which I'm going to get rid of. Right here, it started to bulge out, which means dust got in there, a clip broke, and stuff like that. What was happening is, these are, fan, these are basically fanless computers. They're air-cooled. 
there is a heat sink underneath here that obviously helps with dissipating heat. So I was on the phone with somebody and what happened was is all of a sudden the phone just hung up on them. I didn't touch it. Well what was happening was is since it's like this it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So what happens is the, uh, the cellular network card and the Wi-Fi card were getting extremely hot and what was happening was is the cellular uh, card got so hot that it wouldn't even stay connected to the cellular network it would just go as if they transferred the data to it which they did not and basically if you can see it that's what happened right here so the heat was not dissipating properly and it was causing all sorts of issues and all that. The phone does still work. I'll use it as a camera when I make video, uh, YouTube videos. So what I did on the iPhone 11 here is I got this case which comes up totally around it and I got a gel cover. And that doesn't just go across where you touch. It goes across the whole thing so that doesn't happen. So this is the screen protector that I got. It's filled with gel. It's called liquid glass and it's a brand new product. So if I open this up here, I can use this to clean my device. comes with a cloth and this is for more. This is a case cover box. It's really nice that clear case. I really like that. So then this way I won't have an issue anymore because I was on important calls and the iPhone 10 just decided to just drop the call and it started to do stuff really slow the infrared camera was not working properly and so basically what would happen is is I'm logging into the phone it's not going to do what it needs to do right now because I'm not in front of it and it would take forever to recognize and what would happen is it wouldn't even recognize it would have like this ball spinning it looked like the Tasmanian devil try, uh, moving it would just spin and it wouldn't do it and I would have to enter the code and then I would have to reset it now with this You see how fast it's trying to recognize? That's a good thing. The, uh, the iPhone 10 did not work right. I thought I broke it for a second. So anyway, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.